it's your girl KJ and I'm back with another video. What's up, what's up, how y'all doing? I got bands in the coop, bustin' up the roof. I got bands in the coop, touch me, I'll shoot. Bow. Shake a little ass, Money. you get a little bag and take it to the store. Money. Get a little cash, Money. you shake it real fast, you get a little more. So what up, you guys? So what up, you guys? So what up, you guys? If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button based on the title you guys already know i am back with another pregnancy update video okay woop 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 pregnancy update i'm ready i'm already getting hot like the ac's on okay I, this is this does not have any sleeves this jacket is not that bad but i'm just whew, i'm just evaporating over here. I just want to start off with Alhamdulillah. I am glad to be going through this pregnancy um, experience, okay? But I'm done. I'm ready to be done, okay? Like, I'm just tired of being pregnant. People keep telling me, girl, you better stop because um, once you're here, you're not going to be able to sleep. I already can't sleep. So with him being here, ain't gonna make a difference. <laughs> okay, I am 38 weeks as of today. I went to my 38 weeks um, doctor's appointment today. Basically what they did was get my weight. I am 184.6 pounds. They, took, they did this test that was supposed to be done at 36 weeks, but for some reason they did not do it at 36 weeks. I mean, they did they do it at my 37 weeks. So they did it today. And they just stick this long old cotton swab in hole number one and hole number two. Okay. And when it went into hole number two, I was shocked because she did not tell me it was going into hole number two. I was like, oh, whoa, that never happened. She was like, yeah, well, I couldn't tell you that it was going to go into hole number two because then you would have tensed up and it would have been much more discomfort to you so I just had to do it I was like okay so in my previous video I spoke about being mild to a moderate discomfort when it's time to go to sleep but now it is it's drastically changed to being extremely uncomfortable when it's time to go to sleep because I'll just be laying down and my lower back would start to get very warm and then very hot, like a tingling sensation. And then like it just starts to really hurt. And I would just be tossing and turning until I, I magically find this cool spot on the bed and I just don't move. <laughs> or my body is just like, okay, Kiana, you've been moving too much. You can go to sleep now every night. I'm just tossing and turning and I'm just tired of it I am done another thing would be me going to the restroom in the middle of the night I still very often go to the restroom in the middle of the night I before try to not drink a lot of water before going to sleep but that did not work because I would wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom but my mouth would be completely dry like my throat is just screaming for water so me not wanting to drink water so I don't have to keep getting up in the middle of the night just did not work so I'll make sure I have water a big cup of water next to me so I'll drink a little bit before I go to sleep I use the bathroom wake up in the middle of the night go up some water go use the bathroom come back lay down wake up again in the middle of the night go up some water that's the routine. Ooh, I can't even like, look at me. I gotta sit like this to feel comfortable. Another thing would be me experiencing Braxton Hicks. I'm not sure if I mentioned Braxton Hicks in my previous video, but um, I've been experiencing it um, much more frequently, like much longer periods of the Braxton Hicks. Like before I would have it for like 30 seconds and then it doesn't come back again until probably like the next day I'll have another
another brass mix but I've been having it for like it will start and it will last for like a good two three minutes and I'm just tight bellied over here okay like this morning my stomach was tight for a pretty long time okay and at one point I was like hmm is this going to intensify because I hope you do I hope you intensify like are these real contractions that are happening right now or is this Braxton Hicks it was back of the hex because after three minutes my stomach was fine and I was just like, can I get into labor already? Like I'll be hoping that these Braxton Hicks be real contractions that's gonna intensify later, but they don't. They don't. They just go away and I'd be like, dang it. I eat even when I'm not hungry. I literally just had a plate of rice white rice chicken and some bean sauce and then I had ice cream in a cone okay and then I had um cookies and milk like I'm not hungry I'm just eating just to eat <laughs> like I'm just eating and now I'm looking at these chips like do I want to eat you too and this is a TMI disclaimer okay I mean it's not that it's not it's not nasty nasty like everybody does that okay but like I am passing some air somewhere you know every five minutes I'm surprised I have it now or I haven't needed, ha I haven't felt the urge to because like before I barely used to fart like barely now I am farting every five minutes especially when it's time to go to sleep I'm just like blah, 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 blah. like I'm a farting musical machine because I'm farting so much I would search it and I'm just like why am I so gassy like is this normal but a lot of other pregnant females go through the same thing okay like I'm literally finished with the video but I guess I just want you guys to see me munch down a cheese doodle I didn't say cheese doodle I said cheese doodle mm. Is actually one thing that I want to put out there I think it was probably last week yeah it was last week um I was um, a bit scared because I felt like for two days I wasn't really feeling him move much like he's really active like he's really active during the day and night and for two days I was like during the day, I I would feel him, but not as much as I usually do. So day one, I was like, okay, I don't really feel you during the day, okay. But at night, I felt him. So I was like, okay, he's, he's fine. I humped a lot. He's okay. Day two, the whole entire day, like, I, I felt like I only felt like, I just didn't feel as much movement. And I felt him at night. And I was like... Hmm, do I want to go to the hospital like check if he's okay because like why are you not moving during the day like what's going on like why do I why do I not feel you move as much as you used to but because of this dang on coronavirus I was like oh, I don't want to go to a hospital but at the same time I want to make sure my baby's okay by day three in the morning I felt him moving. I was like, oh, I, I feel you moving in the morning. Okay, this is good. This is a good time. And then throughout the day, I started feeling him again. And I was like, oh, okay, this is the normal movements that I get. And then at night, he was just like, oh, it was just, just going crazy. And I was like, oh my God, like, Jamari, don't scare mommy like that, okay? Because, like, I was like, why are you not active? Like, normal but that is the end of my video you guys i got nothing else to say peace